trying to turn on the switch of common sense, turn off the switch of apathy, right? And awaken that which we all fall victim to, the regular pattern of our habits, right? And then we become unconscious. But let's make sure the habits are winning, right? Mm. Let's make sure the habits are in our best interest and not be a victim of a system because I largely these things are systems. They're systems of production, they're systems of a product, they're systems of our, our system is this aligned. So there's all these little loopholes that I wish it wasn't the case. I wish the FDA, the FCC, the EPA, there's great people at these companies, so I'm not also throwing them completely under the bus. However, there's too much unregulated within this whole thing, right? People from my perspective, aren't doing an adequate job. And it's affecting you, it's affecting me, it's affecting your children, it's affecting our pets, it's affecting our communities. Plus, the thing that was blaringly obvious was you and I are ecosystems, right? We are an amazing ecosystem. You look at your skin cells under a microscope and you will be blown away. Mm. And every system of your, from digestion to your skin microbiome, to your eyelids, to your hair, to your tongue, everything is striving for homeostasis. Now add 60 to 80,000 man-made chemicals every year that's blasted at us. Every woman from a personal care to beauty is being exposed to over 126 chemicals. Most are endocrine disrupting and probable carcinogenic activity from them. You're like going, what? Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was saying 30 years ago when my dad was telling me about this stuff. So bringing it up and out going, hey man, I'm not saying don't wash your hair. Look towards brands that are not only from a packaging perspective or integrating and trying their best to do their best on all that stuff, because that also has effect, but from an ingredient standpoint. Sometimes I look at, as a formulator of products, it's easy for people to get lazy. I'll just take the natural flavor. Okay, but what's in the natural flavor that the FDA said was okay? Am I saying it's okay? Right? I was in shouting matches 15 years ago with Flavor House like, until the bulb went out. Oh, they keep saying this is a good natural flavor. I keep saying, why is there flow agents that are chemicals that I don't want my body in here? And then when I looked under the hood further, the FDA bylaws allows for certain things even to be in the natural flavor. It doesn't necessarily mean that if natural flavor pops up that there are dangerous ingredients in there. I'm just saying that it can there can be some dangerous ingredients still in there. <laughs> 